Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're going to be looking at a post rotation, obviously, a uh, Quag Nag deck here. And uh, we're going to see if this deck is any good in the new format. Now, this deck has actually made a bit of a resurgence from the DC Open. Um, so it's possible that Quag Nag is on its way back to being a potential decent archetype. It's one of like the only like water archetypes that like can work. Uh, like in the past format, this was one of the best water decks to play when fire was dominant. Fire is still very much dominant. So still having the advantage of beating fire with Quagnag is still a big thing. Now, obviously Quagnag is a lot worse than it once was. There's no Aqua Patches and there's no Wish Batons anymore. So the deck definitely gets nerfed. But again, it's don't, I don't want to let the uh, DC open, so the deck might still have potential. So, if you're the video, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Car Cavern TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever in any need of any PDCGO codes, and of course, if you're trying to get Unified Minds code still, and Hidden Fates codes when Hidden Fates releases, head over to Car Cavern TCG and get your PDCGO codes there. You can also pick up other PDCGO codes like Trainer Kit codes or Pokemon GX codes, and they also have a singles website too down below in the description will be the two links. And of course, if you pick up something from Car Cavern, uh, use code LDF at the checkout and you get yourself a 5% discount on your order. Yeah, so shout out to Kirkgrave TCG, guys. Make sure to check them out and support the channel and that good stuff. So, let's look into the deck. So, once again, guys, Quagnag has taken a big nerf. Some people said that the deck was kind of just unplayable after the rotation because the deck ended up losing out on um, Aqua Patches. Wish Baton being another big one. So, people were kind of just like, eh, Quagnag is probably just bad now. Um, but again, it did decent at the DC Open, so there is still some potential for the deck to work. And it's still like an archetype that functions. You still have that engine of using Naganadel. You still have that, you know, Quagsire's, you know, kind of engine of moving energy around. It's just the deck no longer has the assistance of, um, what's his face? <laughs> no, as he says, of like Wish Baton stuff. And yeah, Wish Baton is really bad, because if something gets knocked out, you don't have the ability to save three energy, so you pretty much have to solely rely on Naganadels to retrieve your energy. So this deck definitely does get a lot worse because of that. But at the same time, it is still a water deck. The deck can still take out Reshizard pretty easily. The deck can still beat Mewtwo and stuff, I think, in my opinion, thanks to Keldeo. And the deck still has some advantages. You, you know, you still have the Wailord Carp Towering Splash potential um kind of play that you can do against like something like malamar is another big one uh, you still have this prison volk which is good and uh, we now have keldeo which can be a nice bag of attacker for the deck and quagsire can still attack and do good damage and again Del can still do good things with turning point so I, I think the deck is still like it functions well it just comes down to how consistent your energy is in play it's basically in my opinion just like a worse version of dark box so we look into the uh, stuff we got to work with here. We do have going into the items. Two Acrobikes, of course. I really like this card a lot. Um, I've seen a few lists from like the DC Open. Uh, this is the original list that I ended up building before the rotation hit. Um, and I actually was like, all right, you know what? All those lists kind of keep it similar to this. We might as well just keep this list. Actually, Quagnite make top eight in the Juniors Division at Worlds. Black Quagnite list is playing Four Crushing Hammer, which is kind of weird. You can literally just check Pokemon's website and look at that list. Uh, but yeah, I like having the Acrobike. It's a way to maybe find Pokemon and also get rid of energy. Now, the interesting thing I'm actually playing are two copies of B-String. Uh, one of the things that this deck definitely struggles with is keeping the energy in play. It's hard to do. It's hard to keep energy in play, guys, when you're constantly, you know, getting knocked out potentially. So having B-String is really nice to get two extra energy in play. And the cool thing with B-String is this is one of the ways we accelerate to power up Towering Splash a lot easier. Um, so I don't know. You can go with one B string instead of two if you don't want to play two. I personally just like having the two B strings. Uh, we got four custom catchers because it's that. Now the interesting thing I'm playing is Lure Ball. A lot of lists I've seen where we're going like four four Quag, four four Negas. I'm just going with a Lure Ball and going with a four three four three of both. Lure Ball is still in my opinion an underrated card and stuff like this. I still like Lure Ball in this deck and it actually still works out well because if you end up discarding something like a Nagandal or Quagsire off like an Acro Bike or something. You can always lure ball it back, so you never really have to worry about them being in the discard. And this kind of counts as your like fourth Quag, fourth Naganadel, without having to actually move two slots, if that makes any sense. I am playing three treasures, four Pokecoms. Uh, I got that one reset stamp. Uh, this deck is kind of tight on space. There's a lot to play. I am going heavy on the 11 energy, so like that's another thing. Like this deck does play a lot of different stuff, so it's hard to actually make room for a lot of cards. Uh, I am playing one copy of Switch. 
2 Viridian Forest, another great card in this deck. 4 Cynthia, 1 Erica, 4 Lily, heavy draw support, and 11 Water Energies. We're going heavy on the Water Energy, guys, because we always want to see them in our hand to discard them and to attach them and do maybe Jack Geysers. So there's a lot of ways to discard energy. Um, you maybe consider playing the 4 Treasure if you really want to. I'm fine with 3. But yeah, it's my uh, Quagnag Pulse Rotation list. And I do think this deck is still good. It did well at DC Open, so the deck is still potentially a good deck to play. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, let's go do an, um, some games now with the deck. I almost said let's go do another game. I have not played the deck yet on video. But, yeah, we're going to get into a match here. And uh, hopefully show off the Quagnag deck and see if it's still, like, any bit decent. All right, I'm against the Psychic deck. This might be Malamar, I'm guessing. Could also be something else, but I doubt it. It's probably just going to be Malamar. We'll see how we do on the coin flip here. Hopefully we win it, and hopefully we get a good start going, because that'd be amazing. All right, we'll see what my opponent is going to be playing here. If they do flip the coin flip. All right, so we'll see what happens. Obviously, uh, without Wish Baton, things could be a little interesting when they knock me out. So our goal is to kind of establish a Dismount of Gandalf and go from there. Okay, well, they win the coin flip, which isn't fun. Let's see what we start with. Keldeo and Poipol. Okay. Not amazing, but I'll take it. I'm actually tempted not to bench the Poipol. I'm going to use Pokecom to get a Wooper. Because we can always treasure for Poipol. And we'll, we'll see how this works out. We're probably going to keep the hand anyway, so we'll uh, decide. Okay. Just got to spend Deoxys, which cannot damage my active, which is nice. But it's probably definitely playing Giratina. Which is like the only issue is he's probably playing Giratina in his deck. We don't have an efficient way of dealing with that. I don't know. We'll see. Does he have a supporter? He has a Poke Gear. Ah, dang it! He gets a Lily off of that. Not cool. Not cool at all. I think it's another NK. Alright, we'll see what we do here. Just a pass. Okay, what do we draw? Okay, yeah, see, so this play I want to do works out. So we can just get you. So we do have our Wailer cart, which is important to know, because we're probably going to need it to potentially try to get a bench wipe here, if that's possible. I think that the best way to do is build energy on Keldeo until we can get to that point. Uh, Alright, this is kind of weird, but I'm actually going to get rid of the Viridian. I'm going to hold the B-String, just because if I am going to try to do that Wailer play, B-String is probably going to be important. And uh, Viridian is just going to end up helping my opponent. We didn't get a single energy. Oh my, I should have should have played the beast. I should have played the Viridian. I did not get an energy off that Cynthia. That is unfortunate. Oh, we're just gonna have to pass then. Pfft. That sucks. I just didn't want to give my opponent a free Viridian Forest. And I'm wishing I played it down now instead of gotten rid of it. But again, I, I still think the B string is good to keep, because if we do want to try to get a big old bench wipe with Whale Lord, th that's definitely the way to go about it. I think it's try to use B string. I don't know, we'll see how this goes. Um we're still, like, gonna maybe buy a couple turns, because this thing can't damage. We do cross the vision and maybe knock out Wooper, but it doesn't matter. I can evolve it. An E-switch? Wait. Ooh, I think he messed that up. Wait, I'm so confused. Wouldn't he have needed to do Malamar before the E-switch? He could have knocked out my Wooper. Okay, well, that's a little misplay, I think, on his end. I don't think he meant to do that. Because I think he wanted to Malamar first. Because he could have crossed Division. He could have knocked out my Wooper. He can still do a cross Division, though, if he gets enough energy. And he can technically still knock out the Quagsire and something else, maybe. All we have to do is just not see a Giratina for a couple of turns. And we'll be good. And we do need to knock out this SP on Deoxys, so too. Gets rid of a couple things. Alright, hopefully just a pass of the turn here. Nope, a Pokecom, getting rid of Sigilyph. 
There is that pesky old Giratina, my favorite card right now to play against. Okay, so we can custom catcher, bring in the Malamar. I think I might have to do that to buy some time. Who knows how many other energy switches he has. Play your dumb distortion door. I don't know. Everyone plays Malamar Giratina right now on the ladder. It's actually so frustrating. I don't know. I don't know. It's just Giratina Malamar. I have officially now decided that I hate. Okay, what do we draw? Another Keldeo. Okay, so what we'll do here is we'll Pokecom put back this Keldeo. I think we will just get another. We'll get Ditto. Ditto gets cross divisioned a lot easier, but I don't really see that happening this turn. And Ditto can evolve in either Quag or Wooper. Actually, let's we'll get another Wooper. Not even gonna bother. Not even gonna bother. Alright, we'll bring out that big fat Malamar. He's got two cards in his hand, too, so I gotta kinda hope he doesn't have anything. He's played three Poke Gears, so I don't know. Okay. Not an amazing hand, but we'll make it work. We can definitely get a couple energy. We would have actually attacked this turn had I not whiffed there. That's good, though. We got two Nagandels in play. And next turn, I guess we can try to do the Custom Catcher. And then try to get, like, a new card. And then we won't have Custom Catcher for the rest of the game, though. So I don't really know how I feel about that. If we can get a couple, another Poke Gear, bro. What do you mean? How many Poke Gears do you play? Well, if we can get a couple turns here where Keldeo doesn't get attacked, that'd be nice. He's got no energy in the discard pile. Hopefully, the Cynthia just doesn't give him a good hand. See, now I'm glad I didn't play the Viridian Forest down because he probably would have had things going by now if I had the Viridian Forest in play. So, yeah, I'm glad I got rid of it, but at the same time, we would have attacked here. We would have knocked out the Malamar with Keldeo. But we can knock out the Malamar and then we can knock out. Giratina with a Resolute Blade, but then we don't have Tarn Splash. So I don't know how I feel about that. Alright, we just gotta hope he doesn't have a switch and a way to get rid of an energy. He has a switch. Okay, but he's going into Inke, though. That's fine. I was gonna say, if he actually has a switch and a way to get rid of an energy to attack me with Giratina, I'm going to Rage Quit. Okay, he actually got rid of another switch. Alright, what do we draw? Beast Train. Not want to see that. Alright. Oh, custom catcher come in clutch nice I will right, Cynthia see what this gives us and we got an acro bike uh, yikes I might just take the other acro bike just keep looping acro bikes we do have a lure ball in the deck so I'm not too worried about losing quagsire Yep, there we go. See, I wanted to, like, Acrobike into a supporter and then maybe an energy discard. Because we're trying to get as much energy in play as we can right now. Get you down. Uh, we'll Pokecom, put back the Wooper. Probably just get ourselves Falk. Oh, I guess we can still get Waylord, though. Then try to get ready for a big Tarn Slash Bench Wipe. I'm just, at the same time, though, he, he has custom catchers. I don't want to bench it right away, though. That's the other thing. I might just hold on to it for, like, one turn. All right, well, there's a possibility he might not have an energy here. He's got three cards in his hand. There's a Pokecon. Ah, he has an energy. So, rip. Hopefully he hits himself, so I don't have to waste my GX attack here. I can still, like, always hit him and then maybe, like, finish him off with Volcanian down the road because he'll have 20 health left. Now he's got two cards. Does he have an energy and a supporter? He has a supporter. Rip, are you serious? He's not missing a B with his supporters, which is kind of annoying. Sigilyph coming down. And there's Viridian. All right, well, that'll help me. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Hmm. Sigilyph is only for GXs, right? Yeah. 
Alright, hopefully he hits himself so I can knock him out. That'd be amazing. Now he hits his Sigilyph. Not great. Not great at all. Alright, well once again, I'm gonna try to build up energy here. I might honestly just maybe go for that Prism Star Volk. Instead of the Waylord. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have to give up two energy though. Six, seven. So we can attack with Waylord this turn, actually. And it I mean yeah, it might be possible actually to pull off the thing next turn. We just retreat Caldeo. But that but he can still do like a cross division. I just really want to do Towering Splash. Hmm. Very confused. I retreat two energies. I could do one. No, I have one, two, three, four. I'm trying to think here. Right, let's do Cynthia first. Okay. I did, he'll Psychic Club me though, and that'll do like 160 damage. I think it's actually not a good idea to do Waylord right now. We'll have... We'll have 6 energy. Then we would need 2 more. But then, I, yeah, I guess we can actually still do Tower and Splash next turn to wipe his bench. Okay, you know what? Yeah, maybe this does work out. It might actually work out. Because obviously Waylord won't get knocked out. And then what we can do is... Then all we need to do is just get a couple more energies in play to pull off the uh, big old Towering Splash GX. We only need 8 energy. So maybe this does work out. Because next turn, we can maybe get 3 energies in the discard thanks to Viridian and stuff. We'll see. He could cross Division, knock out Keldeo. That was a good draw too, Lily. That does let us draw a couple more cards. So I don't know if we can get like another treasure. It is possible to pull off that Tyrant Splash next turn and wipe that bench. If we can knock out three Malamars, we pretty much win the game in my opinion. Even though we still have to go through one more Espeon Deoxys. And Giratina maybe. And without Custom Catcher, it's a little hard. But I don't know. It's going to be a really close match regardless, I think, guys. At the end of the day, this is still going to be a very close game. I mean, he could cross division, knock out Quagsire if he wants to. He could knock out the Wooper, but there's no point. If he does that, I can actually just do Dedenne, which I would much rather prefer. As long as we still have two charging ups and an attachment for turn, we can pull off this towering splash. And if we can wipe out Malamar, 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 that's perfect. Wipe out his entire bench is perfect. Well, we'll wipe out the Malamars anyways, but even like getting 100 on Sigilyph, right? If this Pokemon is your active, so it's not even that Sigilyph will put 100 damage on me. He'll have 30 HP left, which means he can get killed potentially by two Volks. So all we gotta do is just wipe the bench here, I think, with take out all those Malamars, and we should be good. He can still build up some stuff doing gear, like using the Malamars while he still has access to them. But that's three prizes we're taking, and that is really hard. And he's gonna concede the game! I think he sees that we had the potential just wipe there with Towering Splash. That's uh, an interesting list, only 11 Pokemon. Yeah, so yeah, that was a uh, decent showcase. We pretty much were just trying to put out the best board state for us there. I'm just hoping we were able to pull off that good old trusty Towering Splash KO. Um, I mean, if he did do Cross Division, we would have actually had Jet Geyser. As long as we just had a way to get rid of energy in the discard pile for Naganadel, we would have been good. So if he actually ended up knocking out the uh, Wooper there, for say, or just knocked out the Keldeo with Cross Division, we had a, the ability to just use Jet Geyser to discard energy. We had another Treasure, I think. That's going to maybe done to Dene, and we had the Viridian in place. So it was really easy, I think, for us to get that Tyrant Splash there to pretty much try and guarantee the win. But yeah, there you go. All right, I'll see you guys in the match. Alright guys, we're getting another game with the deck. I found a game against Blacephalon, and I was like, bro, I really want to find Blacephalon. And I finally came to a game, but it lasts for not even one turn. Because my opponent just, just scooped immediately.
Um, but it looks like we're bringing a dark box here. That'll be an interesting matchup for sure. Uh, we do win the coin pool, which is good. Try and get a good start here. No, not with this hand. No, no, not with this hand. I could make something work with Custom Catcher, I guess. We'll see. Oh, my opponent's mulliganing. That'll help. Um, a lot of the lists I've seen of this Quagnag deck... Oh, he's got Super Scoop up. That's going to be actually kind of annoying. Uh, a lot of lists I've seen of Quagnag are actually playing a... Uh, they're playing a heavy count of supporters with Pokey Gear. Okay, we can draw four more cards. That's got to give us something. Okay, not the supporter I was hoping, but we can thin our hand down. So it works out. Okay, look at that. Boom. We're already off to a good start. So we're going to give my opponent the Viridian. Not a fan of that, but this does allow me to do my ting. Uh, let's just touch the Keldeo for now. Could reset stamp them. I mean, they might not even take many prizes, to be honest, with Keldeo in the deck. So I'll reset stamp them, just so I can do a bigger Lily. Kind of a waste of a card. I'm starting to consider just taking reset stamp out of the deck, to be honest with you. I really am. Okay, that's a really awkward Lily, that's for sure. That's a very awkward Lily. Alright, we'll see what happens though. We can maybe knock out one of these Poiples next turn with Sonic Edge, which I'm hoping we can do. We need two Naganadels to pull that off. We have two Pokecoms, we just have no Pokemon to work with. We can maybe do Erica. I might have to Custom Catcher here, but I'm fine with that. Maybe we can like Custom Catcher, knock out a Sneasel, try to cripple that setup he's got. I wonder if he has Power Plant though, which I doubt because Weavile, but you never know. You know, he wants to counter my Keldeo, he has Dark Pulse. Um, the only thing that he can attack me with is Dark Rye Prism Star, maybe, and then also beat up with Sneasel and Naganadel. So he has a few options to attack the Keldeo. I don't really think we need Wailord in this matchup as much. Well, we could definitely use it. I think Wailord will be decent to have. But, like, I don't know if we'll really need it. Oh, wow. That was a big Hapu. Got rid of three energies. Well, if he fills his bench up here with Pokemon, we can try to do that Erica's Hospitality. We can also try and knock out that Sneasel. So I'm going to probably Custom Catcher that thing up. Another Wooper. I guess we'll play that now. Why not? All right. We'll do this. Get rid of this. It's the only card I don't really care for. Attach that to the active... Here we go. We'll custom catcher that Sneasel out. And Erica's Hospitality. Okay, we got an Acro Bike. What's it going to give me? Nice. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. So we do indeed have that Keldeo KO, which is pretty big. As long as we didn't prize our other Nagas, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw them in the deck. Saw one at least. Oh no, but we don't have Quagsire! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I don't have Quagsire. Gee, dang it. Dang it, dang it. I forgot about Quag. Forgot about my boy. Um, That's pretty bad, actually. I think we just retreat into Keldeo. Dang it, man. If only I had another Pokemon in my hand, I could have had a knockout. Oh, that is so frustrating. I just realized... Whatever. It is what it is. At the end of the day, what can you do? That would have been perfect, though, if we got the knockout. Alright, we'll see if he even gets a Weavile here. You never know, he might not. Ooh, he does have that Dark Eye Prism, though. Don't tell me you get two energies. He gets two energies. And a si I'm telling you this game sometimes. You gotta be kidding me. Watch our last top deck be a Pokemon. <laughs> oh, that'd be so bad. He's probably gonna get the Dark Rite attack off this turn too. Oh man, this is brutal. I don't know. For some reason, another Weavile. We might be okay. No, he has Weavile. Unless he doesn't grab it here. He does. Man, that sucks. We almost had that Sneasel knocked out. That would have been huge. We do have one switch in the deck to deal with that Dark Art Prism Star. Alright, let's see what he does. It's going into Poipo. Okay. What he's going to do is attack Eye Opener. He could peck me for 20. Doesn't really make a difference, though. We actually would then just knock him out. Yeah, he's not going to do anything. Alright. He's moving on the energy of that Dark Art. There's another Keldeo. I knew it! I told you! Last Pokemon was going to be a top deck. What did I tell you? 
All right, let's do this. We're gonna get ourselves that big old Quagsire. Oh, we prized two of them, that's why. That would explain that. Okay, let's Cynthia before we do anything else. Yeah, we got an energy, so we can do this. We did get the switch, which is really nice. I like that a lot. That means we can knock out that dark right next turn. I think we'll hold off on playing the uh, Waylord, just because we do have that knockout on Darkrai. I doubt we'll get reset stamped here, right? Let's go two and two. Okay, so... Obviously, we're safe, so we can kind of put energy on you. I mean, I could play the thing down, but I don't want to. We'll hold the hand. I, I honestly doubt he's going to do a... Uh, I doubt he's going to... Um, custom catcher but at the same time i just don't want to bench it he's not going to reset stammy i don't think i mean if he does rip me but at the same time we can bench this by the way i don't know if uh, shiny quagsire is coming out in um unified minds or, or hidden fates or not from the shiny bolt if it is that'd be pretty dope but yeah we're gonna move four energy off the board here ideally i'd rather knock him out with something else i mean if he benches two more pokemon we can knock him out with resolute blade which i'd probably prefer to be honest with you but no we don't even have another keldy what am i saying yeah we'll bench the waylord go from there I don't know, we are wiping four of his energy off the board, which is really good. Ooh, he gets rid of a Custom Catcher. I mean, he could have Custom Catchered, knocked out one of these... Knocked out Quag, maybe. Not gonna matter, we have the other Quag. As long as we just still get Reset Stamped here. Or, I mean, we can also get Double Heads, to be fair. But either way, I'm probably gonna end up having to switch. We'll keep four energies. Ooh, Black Market. That's a big yikes. Alright, just an Abyssal Sleep. So we're gonna move all the energy off the board here. Oh, we wake up. Okay, well, Resolute Blade will indeed knock him out. And you know what? At this point, we might as well just take the Resolute Blade knockout. We're just not going to take a prize, which is the only issue. Oh, he concedes. He concedes the game. Quagnag is just too good. It's making everyone concede. We haven't really gotten a full game with the deck. It's just... Quagnag is just so busted, man. It's just... I don't know. I'm telling you, the deck's making a recovery because it's making people concede. All right, we'll do one more game. Alright, Quagneg is making everyone concede. Um, not gonna lie, I'm trying to get into another game here with the deck. I don't even care if we win or lose a game at this point. It's like, dude, just let me get this video done. Uh, but we'll see if we can um, maybe get more action with the deck. Obviously, the games we begin aren't like super eventful, but like, I don't know. Like, that's the thing with Keldeo too. Like, with Keldeo, there's not many answers to it. So the, the opponent's probably like, well, dang, I can't do anything. Another Malamar deck. Whatever, at this point, I don't even care. I'll take another Malamar game. Uh, we do win the coin flip, which is good. Again, if we're playing against Malamar, our main objective is to just wipe their bench. And ooh, mm, this ain't a good hand, guys. <laughs> Five energy. Oh my gosh. The only thing that can save me is a Dedene. Like straight up, a Dedene is like the only thing that can save me. Like a Pokecom would be great. All right, let's see what we start here with. Nope. We can attach. Give it a couple seconds, maybe they'll reset stamp me. Just act like I'm thinking about what I'm doing, you know. And now we gotta pass. Oh boy, this hand ain't good. Now I wish I did play treasure, because we'd at least have treasured here. I mean, if we can draw a Dedene though, we can try to dead a change out of this hand. Again, our main goal here is to potentially do a Malamar bench wipe with Whaler Carp, but it's gonna be hard to do that when our start was so bad. Especially as we get to go first and we get a start like this. Okay, there's a Viridian. That kind of helps me out a little bit. They are committing to those Inkays. They're probably going to try to Hypnosis me. Not really going to matter, obviously, but they could try to Hypnosis me here. Oh, they have a Treasure. Getting rid of a Psychic Energy. Getting, like, Pesky Giratina. And just a Pass. <laughs> Another Water! Bro, chill out. I don't need this much water energy. Oh my god. I might as well just put them all in my hand. Just thin out the deck as much as I can. I can't can't play the custom catcher. I mean, if he benches a Giratina, we can Resolute Blade it, but I'm not trying to do that because we need Telio or we need the GX attack for Waylord. Oh man, this is pretty bad. My opponent might not have a good hand though, which I mean is like the only silver lining here. Is we're both kind of getting slow starts, but 
This is a bad start. This is a very bad start. They have a supporter here, Rip the Dream. How much energy in the discard? One. Alright, well next turn they're going to start attacking me, which is not good. What? Why would they do that? Why would they switch? Okay, there we go. We finally got something going. As long as Dedenny's not prized. Okay, there we go. Things are looking up. I might as well, um, do I do Viridian? I mean... I might, I guess we'll Viridian. The less waters we draw, the better, because then that's more, like, outs we have to draw in Wooper and Poiples. Okay, there's a Poiple. Can this Acrobite give us my boy Wooper? No. We gotta take that Volk. That's fine, though. Alright, we can Lily for three. There we go. There's Wooper. Not bad. No supporter for next turn. We had to sacrifice that loot. So I can knock him out with Resolute Blade. But I also need Towering Splash. So I think I'm just going to Sonic Edge him. We'll take the damage. That's fine. If we can maybe draw into Switch, we can just go with Sauna Blast. Alright, so my opponent is uh, not drawing very well either, which is the only good thing about this part we're in. So we at least drew a Lily to help us out there. We'll see where he actually puts this 40 damage. Really curious. Okay, yeah, Mal. I was gonna say, he's not gonna knock himself out. That'd be silly. Very silly. Okay, there's a treasure. Been charging up. I mean, considering his board state, we can probably just take a knockout here. Not a biggie. We're definitely gonna try to get more Negas in play. Uh, Wolverdian. Get rid of the Pokecom. I don't want to do that, but I'm actually going to keep the B-String. Maybe I didn't need to, because we have one water. Okay, whatever. Maybe we didn't have to, but you know what? It's all fair. All fair, love, and war. So, yeah. The good thing about this spot we're in, he only has one card in his hand. He has to draw, like, a Cynthia or Lily here to maybe even attack with Giratina again. There is a Pokecom, so glad I did that. I should have gotten rid of the B-String, though. We'll do that next turn. I forgot. We just discarded so much energy. We have four in the discard. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. But yeah, we'll see if Keldeo lives a turn. We have 40 HP remaining. And then uh, we can start attacking Volcanion. And uh, all we have to do then is just get ready for a big old Wailord Magikarp Towering Splash. Ooh, an Acrobatic. That might give my opponent what he needs to draw out of this. But I'm hoping Keldeo survives a turn. I really do. I really hope Keldeo lives. What do you get rid of there? Looks like another energy got discarded. So I'm hoping Keldeo survives here. That's the goal, boys. Just, as long as that's not a supporter, there's no way he can attack with Giratina here. Which is the good thing. Okay. I don't know why he's switching into Giratina, though. I guess he doesn't want to lose Malamar, but that just gives me that towering splash KO. Alright, let's do this. We're building up a lot of energy here, and that is the best thing about this. Alright, B-String can go. I'm starting to think of just cutting the B strings out too. We didn't really use them in this video. I mean, at least the deck is plain. It's consistent for us here once we get this setup going. Once we get this little setup going, the deck has continued to be very consistent. Oh, we prized the Waylord Carp. That's pretty unfortunate. Whatever. Not that we need it at the very moment, but still kind of sucks. So I can attack with Volk here. I can also double custom. I could potentially take two prizes next turn, which I like. I'll let him knock out Keldeo. He does get two prizes, but at the same time, if we can get another custom catcher, we can custom catcher something up, hit it for 100 with Sauna Blast, and then, uh, because knock it out. So we can knock out the Giratina on the bench and hit the active. But if he benches that, he can't attack me this turn. Yes, there we go. Maybe I should just Resolute Blade him. I mean, at the point we're at, we probably don't even need. Yeah, I should have just Resolute Bladed him. Whatever. He would have gotten the Giratina Garchomp down. He would have been able to get energy on it, so... Maybe it doesn't matter. I'll probably just end up benching so like Keldeo here. But yeah, I'm gonna maybe see if we can do... We still have one... We still have two Custom Catchers. So we can get a Custom Catcher here. We can uh, knock out one of these Malamars. Knock out this Giratina too with Volcanion, which I'm a fan of doing.
I don't know. Maybe I should have just knocked him out. He was getting two prizes. That does help him out quite a bit. But at this point, I'm just trying to build up for that Whale Lord Carp play, even though it's prized. I don't know. Whatever. Let's see what we draw. Iridian. Alright, we'll keep charging up. We got a lot of energy in play, which is good. We have no energy left in the deck, though. Alright, so we don't have the other custom catcher, so we just gotta hope that Cynthia gives us it. Or we can Jack Geyser. Actually, no, there's no energy left, Derp. No! We didn't get the double energy. No, we didn't get the double custom catcher. That is unfortunate. Not getting that double custom catcher there really does suck. Uh, we'll Viridian away the Viridian, I guess. Yeah, we can't do Jack Geyser. Dang, bro. Those two prizes would have been really good, too. Whatever, let's just knock him out. These Malamars are getting pretty low. Alright, what's our prize? Pokecom. Not Waylord. Well, Volk should survive the turn. He did get rid of one of his Giratina Gurchamps. Alright, we just gotta hope he didn't get a supporter off these prizes in this top deck. That's like my issue with giving up Keldeo there. I think we're in a good spot though still. Once we Sauna Blast the Giratina again, we're s <laughs> he gets knocked up by Keldeo, which is really good. Alright, we gotta hope that's not a supporter. If he attacks with Giratina this turn, we're definitely not in trouble, but it won't be ideal. At least he's running out of things to gear hit with Giratina, though, at the very least. Other than his own Giratina, because these Malamars will get knocked out. But he's filling up that bench, which is good. Alright, we just gotta hope he doesn't attack me with Shadow Impact here. That's pretty much about it. Not gonna lie, not having that Jet Geyser play kind of sucks. <sighs> he got the Cynthia! That's what I was worried about, is he would get that Cynthia off the prizes. Oh my god, the spell tag too. That is something I do not like to see. Ooh, he gets rid of another Cynthia. Does he have the attack here? I can't remember if he attached an energy or not. Three Giratinas! How many do you need? How many Giratinas do you need? Alright, it'll be interesting to see where he puts his damage. Okay, no, he's not even attacking me. We're good. Okay, there's an Acrobike. Let's play it. Alright, we'll take that Erica because we got the Lure Ball. I kind of want to Viridian something away. I don't know what to get rid of, though. I think we'll get rid of this, because honestly, we, we're still long cards. We don't really need Pokemon anymore. I just want to thin out the deck here, so I can do a little Lily. A little Lily action. Got B-String. We can burn that. Got new energy left. I don't even know if we have an energy prize. We're going to have nine energy in play. We're going to have a lot of energy in play. Would have been nice to actually do a Sauna Blast on uh, Knock out a Malamar, but again, we can set up for that Whaler Carp, which is still fine. And we'll just check Geyser. He's not even knocking me out either, which is the good thing. He can Spell Tag, put 4 damage here, and then knock me out with Shadow Impact. One more Jet Geyser actually would mean this gets knocked out by Whaler Carp. So there are some potential things going on. We just need to draw into our Whaler Carp too. He could maybe knock me out with the Giratina Garchomp, if that's even possible. He's got no energy. Uh, maybe he does. No, he's definitely got energy in the discard. Never mind. Yeah, that spell tag is not fun. Three Giratinas, though. Like, bro, how many do you need? How many Giratinas do one need? Man, not having Whaler card really does suck right now, though. Just not being able to wipe that bench. It's really bad. Why did it have to be prized? A reset stamp? That's fine. We still have a few things left. Alright, let's see if he goes for a... Uh, where does he put this damage? 
on that other Giratina, that's fine. Okay, so... I wouldn't even mind Custom Catcher in this Giratina. I do want to get a prize, though. Oh, oh, you know what? Actually, we're about to take a lot of prizes here. Never mind. What am I talking about? We're actually taking a lot of prizes here. Really? No double Custom Catcher? Oh, we could have knocked out Malamar. Ah, whatever, that's fine. We're still taking a lot of prizes. We're taking three this turn. We're going to have to let that spell tag KO me, but we are going to take out two of his Malamars, which is good. So forget that Towering Splash. Even though Towering Splash, I still think is relevant. Not, like, hit this for 10, knock this out, knock this out, take our last two prizes. It's going to knock out the Vault, most likely, yep. And he's putting damage on the Quagsire. It's interesting. What do I want to bring up here? I think it has to be Keldeo. Come on, Whaler Carp. There it is. We have Switch in our hand too, so it looks like we should win here unless we get reset stamp to one. I don't know if he's got two. If he reset stamps me, we're in trouble, but we will win the game here with a big Whale Lord. We'll assume we get the other custom catcher piece too, I guess. We should still win. I just gotta hope he doesn't have a reset stamp. But if, even if he does, we can still knock him out and win the game. Oh, we win the game regardless. What am I saying? I just realized. We only have one prize left to take. I forgot we took three prizes there. We still win the game regardless. I am an idiot. I'm an idiot. We still win. The only way he can stop me is knock out the Quagsire. But even then, we still have the Nagando. It really does suck that we don't have two custom catchers in our hand. Because we could just win the game with turning point. I'm just... Gotta hope he doesn't have a reset stamp. All we gotta see is just no reset stamp. Because we did play that Erica. I was trying to maybe set up Custom Catcher. We still have most for Cynthia, so nice. We win. Beautiful. Whew. That was a close, close, close game. Alright, can we just draw Custom Catcher so I don't have to knock this thing out? No. Alright, well... The Whaler Carp Bench White play it is. But yeah, that is game with the Quagnag deck. And to be fair, Quagnag probably just beats Giratina Garchomp pretty easily. Uh, or, yeah, Giratina Garchomp Malamar. I think this deck just has a good matchup against Malamar in general, thanks to Towering Splash. Um, like, I think it is pretty good. That is game. All right, GG. Well, yeah, we can open up a pack here to wrap up the video. But yeah, that is the Quagnag deck, guys, showing it off in its full action. And we have a lot of stuff to open. We have the Rob that he's teaching video, guys. Obviously, if you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like on it. Showing off Quagnag there, guys, once again. Quagnag, is it a good deck? I think it is definitely still decent. Um, I might look at, like, maybe a Buzzmosa build. Once that new shiny Quagsire comes out in Shiny Vault, I am 100% going to be doing another video on Quagnag. I'm going to try a different build of Quagnag, though. Maybe with that Buzzmosa engine with the unit energies, that could be kind of fun. I don't know. I do want to try out that Shiny Quagsire, though, and I don't want to just do the same video again, unless we do, like, Curum Quagsire or something like that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe down the road. Treating 6k subs. Check out the sponsor card card TCG down below, too. Use code LDF. And, as always, follow my Twitter, too. Ooh, we're actually getting some pretty lit chests here. Um, okay, not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. 10 coins. If we got 10 more coins earlier and this gives us 10 coins, we would have been able to get a pack. We would have been able to get a pack. We're five coins off. All right, well, that wraps up the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.